Hi. Hmm. Black Swan. An unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences. Black Swan events are characterized by their extreme rarity, severe impact, and widespread insistence that they were obvious in hindsight. Extremely rare event with severe consequences cannot be predicted beforehand, though after the fact many falsely claim it should have been predictable. Mm, sounds like my life. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I collected throughout 2020, uh, since spring anyway, and um, basically it's all related to, in this video, all related to the Black Swan event, which we all know by a certain name that I'm not going to say, but I will say Black Swan. So, there you go. Alright, so let's start with last year. So, about this this year... But this is the proof uh, swan for 2019 from the Perth Mint. And there's 2,500 of these minted, and I got number 970. This is what it looks like. The other side is the queen. You guys know what the queen looks like, but I guess I could show you anyway. Um, everything in here has to do with the black swan event, okay? Black swan, black swan, black swan, black swan. I'm going to say it over and over and over. All right, let's move to the 2020, shall we? All right, so here's the 2020 COA. Got number 2,189 out of 2,500, and it comes in this kind of whoa hello I'm gonna have to put a sticker over that comes in this fancy schmancy case and looks like that maybe I can uh, do a little zoom thing on this let's see if we can zoom it zoom it all right mm -hmm. See that shininess? There's the queen. There's the 2020 swan that they are calling the black swan. All right. Now, stay tuned because I have more uh, in this video and you don't want to miss it. And you'll see in a minute why. All right, those are my proof coins from uh, the Perth Mint for the swans. Then I have these, okay, Death of the Dollar. I don't know who did that to George's eyes, but it was not me, okay? I did not do that. So I have these ones from Silver Shield. Which is actually from Golden State Mint. And they have COAs as well. And these ones are actually called uh, Death of the Dollar, Silver Shield Mini Mintage, Death of the Dollar Series Number 26, Certified COA, 2020 Black, Black Swan, One Troy Ounce Silver Proof Medallion. Okay, I got number 647 and what number did I get over here? 646. Okay, and I'll show you what these guys look like. These are, I think these are going to be worth some things in the future. Worth some things in the future. Look at this crazy coin, you guys. Oh, no, it's not a coin. It's a medallion. Excuse me. Um... I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can really see the stuff on this because this just has crazy detail in it. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I got to get that. Like, I just knew I had to get this. It has a house on fire, which I want to say is like maybe 
I don't know. Maybe I don't want to say that. Uh, there's toilet paper flying. There's debt. Uh, he's in a debt trap. You see that? The toilet paper shortage. It has the black swan. It has a little, like, messed up teddy bear. It has, like, the graduation hat for, like, student loan debt is what I would think. It has the guy in a face mask. See that? Isn't that so crazy? I think these are just really, really great uh, representations of just, I think it just sums it up, you know? It sums up 2020. And yeah, I'll show you guys the other one too. I don't want to mix up my COAs. And I would pop this one out, but they're hard to pop out. And I kind of, uh, well, you can't really see it. But they're hard to pop out, okay? So I don't want to pop it out. I'm not going to pop that one out. But just look at that. And then this is the other side. So, Silver Shield. Um, 2020, it says on it. Three nines fine. One troy ounce. Super fire, right? I think these are so, so relevant. I'm not going to take the time to pop that out. But yeah, the house is on fire. The the foot is trapped in debt. Now, if that's not Black Swan, I don't know what is. Dude, I am very proud of myself for having the sense to get two of these. And so these are a mini mintage, so uh, they're not making any more of these. This That's a wrap for that. You got to find those on the secondary market. So, I will put that to the side, and I'll show you guys what else I have. Oh, yes. There's more. There is more, my friends. Should I just whip it off? Should I whip it? I'm not going to whip it. I just... Whew. Oh! Hey! Okay. So, first things first. Excuse me. Black Swan Feathers, can you move? These are my, we're just gonna call them Black Swan Rounds, okay? We all know what that is. Maybe we don't. If you don't, you could probably figure it out. But I thought this was cool because I have these in Vela Rounds. This is the only one that I have that actually has the month on it though. So you see it has April. Oh man, let me zoom better. So it has April 2020, right? And then it, it, this is a, a publicly traded company, Invela is. It says it right there on the back, Invela Corporation. Um, I think this is the first one that came out. April 2020. Minted during the... You see what that says? Yeah. That's when that happened. So I have I have one, two, three, four, five of those. Um, guys, I like to stack in odd numbers. I don't know why, but uh, okay. So the second one is a big old bar, which I'm sure you guys have seen in my other videos, and I'm not gonna hold it up because I don't want to face reveal and have to edit for 20 years after this. So that one is May. So we have April, then we have May. Then to go with these, I got these. Check those out. Minted during the, can you guys read that? Minted during the Black Swan, huh? It also says in Vela on the back. I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I like the number seven. Did I tell you guys that? <laughs> All right, so then we have the murder hornet. The murder hornet. That one is June 2020. On the back, looks like that. 
I guess I could show you the back of this one too. That says Invella all across it. I'm gonna put that back down so you guys can still kind of look at it while we go through. Okay, so then to go with the Murder Hornet bar, got to have the Murder Hornet rounds. Let's look at these. So see these ones don't, oh, it already has a milk spot on it. Let's not look at that one. Let's look at a different one. So it doesn't have the month on these ones, but it does have the month on the first ones, which is kind of a bummer, but also kind of cool. See, you can see the milk spot already. But uh, anyway, I think it's cool that they did the month on these at least, and I have them. So I'm excited about that upon further inspection so yeah murder hornet Let's see we got one two three four five of those five murder hornet rounds one murder hornet bar and we have we got rosie the riveter who i love now i skipped a few months in there there's a couple months that they actually didn't make some for, but they did make some other ones. They have one with like Uncle Sam squishing the virus out, and then they have, um, I forget what the other one looks like. I don't know, but I didn't really care for it too much. Plus, I didn't really have it like that in those months to be getting it. So, this one is October. And then the backside of the Rosie the Riveter one looks like this. I just love this bar so much. And this is a 5 ounce, not a 10 ounce. But look at the eyes, man. You can just... Isn't she so cool? This is my favorite one. Okay. Then we got the rest of my little flock of swans over here, okay? Now, hang with me because I got something else to show you. Alright? Right after these ones. We got... So for the swans, I wanted to go backwards. I went back to 2017. Okay? We got that swan. 2018 we have that swan and the little baby we got 2019 that should be yep the little family i think that might be the dad or the mom in the background and the baby so two parents and the baby yo maybe that's the mom and the baby and some creep trying to roll up who knows <laughs> i don't know <laughs> who knows that might not be the father i had a pappy out of pep what is wrong with me god no nope. okay if you got that joke you, you're on the level if not it's okay uh so for the 2020 ones i got two of them i got two of the this is just the bullion ones and i do not know the mintage off the top of my head um but that is what they look like mm-hmm 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 I wanted I got two of these ones just because it was so crucial you know for for me 2020 was a huge year for me you guys and I want to you know like everybody's like oh 2020 man and like to be real I'm ready for this year to be over too but a lot of good things happened to me in this year they really did I started stacking I have saved more than I ever have in my entire life so that is just very good for me um changed my eating habits you know a lot of things happen good for me now guys let me show you what i have if you stayed this long good for you let's oh did you already see it peeking out no this is my pride and joy <sighs> So, no, it's not the high relief one, but yes, it is four nines fine, one ounce of gold. And not only that, it's the black swan gold. I believe there's 5,000 of these minted, which I don't know if that's like super rare or not, but this is my one and only full ounce of gold all in one place you know what I mean and yeah my first purchase of a one ounce geez the camera's bouncy 
is the black swan isn't that crazy like my first one ounce purchase should have probably been an american eagle because i live in the united states not a collector coin but i am happy to have it and this is the first time i've ever shown it if you see that little mark let me see if i can get something to point it out there is a little like micro dude anyway in the wings there's a, a micro engraved little thing and i think it's in all of them i don't know if you guys can see it and i'm trying to point to it but my stupid camera is bouncing all over the place it's like right in there but anyway isn't it beautiful a whole ounce of a black swan 2020 was some craziness wasn't it and it's from the perth mint you see the p on there right above the wing and then if you look in the wings and the feathers there's like a micro etched whatever security feature in there so yeah um this is my pride and joy hundred dollar face that would be so stupid to go buy something for a hundred dollars with this go to australia and buy something for a hundred dollars with this it's like almost a two thousand it is a two thousand dollar coin i think i paid like 1960 or something or 1965 for this i'll have to look it up but um this was my first one ounce purchase the only one ounce piece of gold i have and it's a black swan and i could go on and on and on but we're gonna just wrap it up so yeah um this is my stuff from 2020. This is the crazy coin right here. With the even crazier coin right here. Actually, this is not a coin. This is a medallion. But I just think that's so cool that they like wrapped everything into one like that. I really like that. I love all my um, black swan stuff. I absolutely love my collection of black swan stuff. And yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with my notes. Thank you for supporting my channel. I still can't believe I even have a channel. And I'm having a great time. And uh, yeah. Happy New Year, guys. That's about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.